Every time she don't gets that eye zoom in white line spirit powers summon Sanofon. Oh, it's it's so good. And like and he's kind of like dual with the powers too because he got Sanofon on one hand and technically Kotori has like powers to like heal himself too. Now even though Shido is pretty capable right now, he still has to fight the strongest wizard in the world, Ellen. And the growth trio is not here to bail us out. Nah, it's not like the previous arc where it's all just fun and game. Now this is some real serious shit happening. Toka is getting threatened to get raped. Westcott is a fucking menace. He's just evil for the sake of being evil. And that guy probably can fight too. But right now, Ellen is the main girl that we have to defeat. How are we gonna do it if like, Shido doesn't have enough skills or power? Kurumi is outside handling everybody off. Origami is gonna show up because she has her friend that basically said, I wish you would look at me the same way you look at Shido. I'm like, hey, yo, Yuri. But she mentioned some kind of secret weapon or gear that Origami can use. So she's still in play. Mana's gonna beat Jessica. No fucking doubt. Mana will show up. Kotori, they're just kind of offering backup. But maybe now Shido has to do some kind of crazy main character shit that we're never even like, I don't know, we would even thought of. What's that? What could that be though? He's already using his powers. I don't know. Let's begin today's reaction though. You know, DEM and AST. I think AST might just betray DEM. I, I, I don't know, cause like, see, we're helping out fight against the Bandersnatch, right? If their goal is to protect, wait, is Kumi just gonna fight AST too? <laughs> I thought we could like work together. What the fuck? This isn't backup. This is backup for Bandersnatch, cause Kurumi's too much. He's already so tired, man. And like the thing is, Sandalfon is still in like a nerf state, right? It's not as big as I remember. So, this isn't truly the limit. We gotta take all the power from Toka, but we need to kiss again to gain all the power back? How does that work? If Miku shows up, maybe she could like hypnotize the rest of these like fodder guys. And, but like, Ellen can't be beaten with just fodder. Oh? Who is it? Mana? Miku? Miku! Okay. She did a spin there. <laughs> she did a little cute spin. And boom. They're hypnotized, right? Who do you want us to call you then? Yo, these insults are actually so unique and detailed. Because <laughs> deep inside, she knows that Shido is a good person. Such a did it. It's not like I wanted to help you or anything. Oh, oh if he's so straightforward and genuine like this, it's gonna slowly chip away at this, you know, ice wall that she's put up. Yo, where's Kyohei? He would love these insults. Whoa, Jessica. There is so much going on. So Mana and Jessica are fighting outside. Wait, is Jessica just hitting the Bandersnats and everyone else too? <laughs> like, she's beefing with the fucking middle school kid. But what Mana's saying is interesting. Because like, obviously, the white licorice and the scarlet licorice is really straining. But even her like mental state is just broken because of the strain that the licorice uses. Uh-huh. That's right! We're on the same team, though! No, 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 we're not a wizard anymore, though! I, I, I don't know. Technically, we are, but... Okay, okay! Yeah, we're same team! Same team! Oh? Oh? Ellen? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I thought she'd be protecting Toka inside! I, thought, I really thought it would be Shido versus Ellen to save Toka, but... No. Yo, is she is Adeptus 2 and Ellen's Adeptus 1? Is Orikami Adeptus 3? The whole scheme though? I don't want to believe that Ellen is super evil. I want to believe that Westcott is super evil and Ellen is kind of just sticking around because, I don't know, some constraints that she has. Ike. Isaac? Isaac Westcott? Ike. You're a grown ass woman beefing with a middle school girl! Technically, Ellen kind of is. Well, she's not getting so upset though, right? It's <laughs> so funny to me, man. Oh! What? Why didn't it hit? It. 
Oh shit! Master Sergeant Tobichi Yorigami! New suit though. New suit. Some kind of crazy prototype? Origami versus Ellen? Yes. Oh! <laughs> Jessica versus Mana. Origami versus Ellen. Okay. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> oh my. Oh, yeah, she got her knee up her crotch. Hey, oh my. That's a Kurumi move, man. Give you what? What do you mean by love? You gonna kiss her? Just an indirect kiss? Oh! <laughs> Did she just nut after an indirect kiss? But damn, Mika's power is so much utility. There's no way Shido would have just like done this by himself, right? So cool. But every time he uses Sandal form, the more he gets damaged, but it's so crazy because Kotori's power and then just like reheals it. It's just constant cycle of self sacrifice, heal him up. It's fucking crazy. Ignored. <laughs> no, it's not about that. Oh, another based moment. Damn. Every time he talks back at Miko like this, this is like the third or fourth time. He just tells her off. It's so good. What happened to her? How did she get treated so badly that she has this warped sense? Exactly. What the fuck? Do you have one bad boyfriend? I actually never thought about that. <laughs> of objectifying girls. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> My bad. I was too hor I was too busy being horny. <laughs> That's right, why don't you fucking tell us then? Give me a flashback. That's all I'm asking for. Here we go. Give me a flashback. Oh, here it comes. Well, maybe there was some bad fan. I mean, everybody seems to be super, you know, enjoying her. Maybe she had a super stalker fan that just like ruined everything. Oh. Oh, if you don't fuck me, you won't get this promotion kind of deal. Oh. Yo, we're going full Oshinoko right now. Because, like, in the idol industry, in the entertainment industry, like, these higher-ups, you want to be in the newest, hottest show? You want to put it, be put in this, you know, good position? You better suck this dick. Like, it sounds like I'm joking, but no, that's how fucking fucked up the industry is. But, did they? <laughs> they fucking still showed up, though. That's the craziest thing. Like, they showed up to hate. They bought the tickets, showed up to a show just to hate. Like, they could have just, like, not shown up and had an empty audience, and maybe that's a bit better. But, like, that's fucking crazy. These haters are the most dedicated. I don't even blame her. With this flashback, it totally makes sense why she's, like, so twisted like this. But then it's up to Shiro now to... Wait, wait, wait. God. Phantom. What is this god, though? No, go back. Where did the god come from? I think this pretty much just excuses all her behavior up to this point. Still fucked up what she did, but, like, you can definitely empathize with her. But not all men are like that! And she will show you! Stop objectifying women! Oh! No, there had to be... I wonder who it was. Maybe she'll remember some really dedicated fans. Hey! The sound waves can deflect the bullets? Holy shit. Again. Uh, this psychoanalysis by Shido just deconstructing all of Miku's trauma. He's, he's a fucking therapist, man. Worthless self, see? My worthless self, like, you're more than just your voice. That's the thing about identifying yourself with one thing that you're good at. If you just hold on to that thing, one day it might be gone, and then your sense of self will be just destroyed. You can't cling on like that, though. If your voice is the only thing that makes you who you are, maybe you should never have it. So good. Main character time. I'm your fan! Oh, 
霊力なんて関係ねえたとえ声がなくなったってお前が無価値になるなんてこと絶対ない What she does saying is absolutely correct そんな言葉信じないんですからそう言ってたファンは誰も私信じてなかった Then I won't betray you お前を信じて待っていたファンは必ず言わせたでももし本当にそうだったならその時は俺が Dude, when Shido has moments like this, he's such a good main character. Holy. We'll save you, girl. Come on. It's part of the deal. You joined the harm. We gotta protect our girls. No, no, no. More sundered moments, but we're making progress. Oh? Isn't that Kyohei's voice? Isn't this Kyohei's voice? <laughs> Yo, that's Kyohei, right? I'm pretty sure that's a voice actor. <laughs> Bro, Shido is not even. Shido and Miko aren't even focusing on the enemies. Like, we're just busy arguing. Master Sergeant. Oh. <laughs> Dude, look at her outfit. What kind of armor is that? Like, I, I get it. It's, 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 it's to be very flexible. Right? She really could, though. But if it's for Shido, she doesn't care. Out of bullets? What? Maybe. Something from above is falling, though. Hey! How the. <laughs> she ran out of bullets and she threw that gun? Bro, what the fuck is this tech? Oh. Ellen is so good. I really like it though when her hair is all the way down. It looks like more powerful. But if it's controlling territory, no one is better than Ellen. Mana, are you around? Maybe Origami will surpass Ellen one day. This is a nice angle though. Huh? Fraxness! Oh, the support. Kotori saving Origami. Okay. Is Kyohei controlling this so precisely? Yeah. No, she's running out of weapons. Oh. Oh, what the? Fuck? Origami's new suit is crazy. Runs out of bullets. Fucking throws a gun. She got a knife boot too. Second person. Who's the first? Do we know? Other than the gross trio. Was it Chido? I don't think he did. No, she's not dying here. Someone got to save her though. Who? Mana. Kurumi? Or... Who is I? It's Isaac, right? Oh, Duex Machina. DEM. Duex Machina, you know, it's like a ass pull in a dire situation, but. Oh, that's right. That's right, I forgot in the last art. Master of Service, she was telling her. Oh. Oh, right, she never knew. <laughs> she never knew. Maybe she can see spirits in a different light, though, because she got friendly with them. Toka, but. Westcott's gotta be in here, right? There. Maybe Westcott is bringing Ellen back if this is Ike. No way, Miku could just hypnotize Westcott, right? Yeah, and, some, and you guys mentioned that he is actually the top of the hierarchy in DEM. You do know the name? Okay, he does. What, the fucking sun cell phone in front of you didn't explain it? That woman. Huh? That woman. Not Ellen. Not Kotori. Who is he talking about? Shoot a sword beam at him. Let's see what he does. Oh, okay, so he can't fight. What's going on? Oh, Toka, we're here for you, but... What is this wall? Sandal phone? Why would he make us do this? What is he doing? Hmm? Why? What's underneath? 
Huh? Huh? Ah, it's a stab from Ellen. I think that's Ellen, right? It's fine. It's oh, Sandalphone's actually gone though. It's fine. We got Kotori's powers though, right? That was Ellen. Oh shit, Ellen's suit is more revealing. Hey, stop being horny. Hey, focus. Is Miku just gonna stand to the side and just watch this? Miku, do something! Use all. It's almost like Westcott is like a um, taunting Toka. Because Toka's technically in this nerf state. He, if he wants to extract spirit power from Toka, Toka needs the powers back. That's what he's trying to make her do. Oh. But like, after she gets all her powers back, Westcott somehow extracts the power, and then what? What does he plan to do with the spirit powers? The Sephiroth. What? More keywords that I don't know about. Oh, it's slowly! Oh! Oh, it disappeared. Because the powers are still in Shido, right? But she's playing right into this. And like, the more Toka gets enraged when the powers are all the way out, then Shido can't use Sound of Fun anymore. Can Toka have some kind of crazy plot armor? Like she goes berserk and like she becomes like ultra Toka? You. You save him. Come on. I don't care what happens to me. Is she about to transform? Show me some crazy shit, Toka. Huh? Don't cliffhanger me! Don't cliffhanger me! Oh. Are you telling me this is some tail B shit? Like Toka's talking with their inner Nantel Fox? Oh, wait, what's going on? What's going on? What does that mean? Negative spiritual energy? What does that mean? Like some evil shit? I don't know what a Sephiroth is! Inversion? This is Westcott's plan all along, maybe? The Lordship. Lordship is Sephiroth. Inverted. Negative spiritual energy. Positive. The Dark Lord? What? What is a Dark Lord? Negative spiritual energy, Sephiroth inverted. It looks like Toka hit a fucking like a, a, a break point. And then she just like, I don't know. She's like talking into her like inner nine tails fox. And now are you telling me she's gonna like transform into this like crazy, I don't know, is it like alter ego Toka or some kind of crazy evil Toka? Dark Toka appears out of nowhere, is so much stronger, and then saves Shido like this? Maybe Westcott fucked around too much. Maybe she doesn't know what he's dealing with because I don't know what his exact plan is, but his plan was to get Toka in the state where she gets all her power back and then, I don't know, turns into Dark Toka. And then maybe he's trying to get that power. Can he control this? Because usually in these kind of shows, you know, the villain tries to like summon some kind of bad being. And then once this thing is summoned, it, the villain usually is the first one that dies because they can't control it. Yo, next episode is going to be fucking crazy. Now, who, we gotta beat Ellen, Kurumi, everybody's basically outside, so it's only Shido, Miku, and Toka right now. But a dark god? A dark lord? Jesus Christ, things are getting hype. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.